Hi, I'm Javon and today we're going to be talking about communicating with your employer during this crisis. For many young people in employment, it's actually a difficult time trying to understand their rights. But it's a good tactic to stay on a positive terms with your employer, if possible. So let's look at ways that you can communicate more effectively with your boss or company. 1. Think about what it is you'd like and what's in their best interest. They may not be the same, so work out what you'd like to compromise on and when you'd walk away. If you have no cards in your hand, you need to be aware you are asking for a favour. In this instance though, what is in it for the employer is trained staff available as soon as business takes an upturn and knowing they've done something to help you out. Number two, be calm, polite and respectful. When you are asking for something, it's helpful if the person you are asking finds it easy to like you. Know your rights, but don't quote your rights or use them as a threat. Suggesting someone is ignorant of the law, even if they are, will just get their back up. Something like, I'm not sure that sign's quite right, can we check, may land better. Four. It's okay for one or both of you to have time to think about things. Not every decision has to be instant. If you really can't reach an agreement, ask again, but very calmly. For example, I don't want to be annoying, but I'm in a real bind. Could we double check with HR? We hope you found some of these suggestions helpful. In the next coming weeks, we'll be sharing more tips and advice on saving money. However, if you are in urgent need of help and advice, please head over to the Consumer Action Group.